what's going on? F1 my pawn here, and welcome back to V Rising. Since we last left off, if I do recall correctly, we had just moved our base, we managed to beat the first act boss of the game, and now we're moving on to Act 2, in which we're probably going to get iron tools, but we'll have to do some reorganization of our base, just to make it look nice and fancy, if only for appearance sake only. But I digress. Without further ado, let's just get into things and see what happens, because we got quite a bit to do. Naturally in summertime suffrage, but I digress. Okay. All right, so it's been a while since we've been back here. Uh, what I will do first and foremost is organize this a little bit better. So first and foremost, we should take these and move these out of the way. So that way we can cut these specifically. I'm going to have to move here so I get cover. But, uh, what I need to do is I need to place a wall there. And then I need to place a wall here. There we go. So this will effectively be the corridor that we're going to be using to go to and fro the area. I will probably be using this side to accommodate plants, so I will need to adjust with that in mind. And considering we are going to have a lot of room here, that's probably... Fe going to be for the best. I'm going to move the vermin nest out of the way here temporarily. I am going to need some materials though if I'm planning on doing this. So I'm going to quickly go into my material storage, grab my stone and wood, and let's get to moving uh, some things here. So first and foremost, we should make an effort to... Yeah, for... First and foremost, I should make an effort to replace where my heart is going to go. And I ideally want it to be moved over to here. So I'm going to move this out of the way. There we go. Boom. There we go to foundation. Castle flooring, bada boom. We are then going to use this area to fund the blood press and whatnot. So that will be our alchemy room here. Or better yet, I could use the second floor to uh, establish such things if need be. Because it doesn't have to be the first floor that uh, addresses these sorts of issues. But uh, the... Castle Heart is definitely going to be here. That is going to be a necessity that we're going to have to, you know, present ourselves with. We are going to have to make a second floor, though, so we should make an effort to set that up. As for stair-wise, uh, I'm going to set it up like this. And I can either go for the Ebonite design, or I can go for something else completely. I very much like the blue attire, personally. So what we're going to do is we are going to do the castle entrance here. And then we will set things up. I will get the foundation ready. Okay, it is going to hurt if we uh, go up there just straight up. So what I will do is get some walls ready. There we go. And the question is, can I get this 
further over. No, I cannot. So it may not even be better to do it here specifically. It may be better to go on the other side. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no, it may be better to set it up here. I, I don't know. For now, I just need to set up the uh, stairs and everything right now. We can worry about the details later. So for now, let's just get the castle flooring in. There we go. Okay, uh, let's see. I don't need this, uh, down here now, because this is basically cleared. But I can set it up here, to make it a little easier to settle things. Okay, so first and foremost, let's see. We do not need this here. Or do we need this? So I think this is the rough estimation of how we're going to make it work. We do want to get rid of this side here because that's going to be just a pain in the butt to deal with. But uh, if we go down from here and we start moving some things here, we should be able to get everything organized. Okay. Okay. Break these. And then we do the walls for our plan. Make a castle entrance here. And from there, we go to foundation, we go to grass. We are going to need some plant fiber for the occasion. So we want to go into herb storage, grab the plant fiber. And just in case, we also want to grab the blood essence because that can be used to make invisible block the terrain. So probably for the best that we get that set up. From here, we will... This will not organize work. that. There we go. So this will uh, be where our plants go, essentially. We will have to decorate a little bit, but overall, it shouldn't be too big an issue. But, uh, yes, that is that. Uh, as for how we want to set up beyond this point, um, it might be in our best interest to break this down. So what we'll do is we'll replace it with castle flooring. Break this down appropriately. There we go. We shall move this over here for now. Same for this. Because we do want to make sure that that area is cleansed. Alright, remove these. There we go. So now we've got this gate here set up, so that's good. So ideally we want a 3x3 three three leading to here, in which case we will have a barrier set up. Uh, what we'll do is we'll move some things to the side here, so that way we can make enough room for the gate here. Because ideally we want this in the center here, so that way we can teleport to and fro with relative ease. 
So we will just have that centralized as much as we can. There we go. So this will be the center of a room. Move this, this. castle entrance here all right so this is the teleport room this will get us to the main entrance of the base this will act as a barrier to further uh, exploration which is the castle heart and I mean if they break through this gate well there you go because um, they're gonna have to break through the first gate then this gate and then another gate I guess because I'm fine with making yet another gate to this but uh, from there, we just need to now build some more. Because we got quite a bit to uh, do upstairs. So from here... Let's see, what do I do? Hmm. I mean, I guess I can just set it up accordingly. Like, I'm fine with the stairs being here, I guess. And I don't need to extend it any further than I have. Unless, of course, I want to make some specific decorations. There we go. No reason to sugarcoat it. Alright, let's bring some uh, stuff up, so that way we can start organizing things appropriately. We'll start with the alchemy stuff, because that is going to be our priority here. I'm going to transform into wolf form here, so that way I can make it a bit faster here. Okay, and the blood press is, uh, yet is the third most item. Okay, what's up here? There is the blood press, there is the alchemy table. What is the last one? Uh, I forget. Oh, I put the uh, servant coffin in there, which is not necessarily needed. So what we'll do here is we will put the alchemy stuff in here. So we will go to foundation, go to alchemy flooring, we will go with the exemplar pattern, considering it closely resembles what we need for one of the designs. We will set up the alchemy table first. There we go. And the blood table here. And then we just wall this. entrance. There we go. Oh, whoops. Castle entrance here. There we go. So now we've got a alchemy room here. Technically I do not need to uh, utilize this, so what I will do is I will replace this with uh, invisible foundation. That way it'll look nice. And then we got a few more areas that we can build upon. And what I'll probably do is I will set up some stairs. Hmm. Where do I set the stairs up? I guess I could set them up here, but... That wouldn't work. Um, ideally, we want to move this, actually, then. So I'll just do castle flooring for this. Mistake on my part, naturally, but that's fine. 
It just means I gotta move this to the center. Well, the far end, I guess. Well, we'll move it to the center, because I kind of like it that way. There we go. Now we put in the things here. We then make the walls. Here or here? I like here. And then we have something on this side and we'll go from there. And from here we get a wall, there we go. Done. Okay. That is the entrance there. Servants will not be able to open and close the door. This is going to be good for when we do uh, servant stuff. Servant stuff will be addressed down here, most likely, because I do want to at least uh, accommodate the co for the uh, appropriate terms. Uh, let's see. Production Y. Well, hold on. Let's see. What other foundations do we got? We got workshop flooring, which we should do. I should probably set up the workshop flooring here. And I believe workshop flooring is dedicated not to grinder. Well, it may be. Yeah, no, uh, workshop flooring is uh, grinders and whatnot, so it'll be good that I get this settled. I will have to uh, extend this though, so that is going to be a necessity. So I'll probably use three or four. And sawmills also are included in that to increase the efficiency. So we should definitely accommodate with those in mind. Uh, is the tannery a workshop thing? It is a tailor thing. Uh, the furnaces are forge related specifically, so it's not necessarily needed. Okay. Okay. From here, then. Oh, what else? What else? I'm going to need a woodworking station. I believe this is necessary in the workshop. Uh, yeah, workshop flooring. Alright, let's set up some walls. This just increases the efficiency, so that way we uh, reduce the costs of how much we need here. We can quickly grab the wood here. And the stone. And we may as well, because this will give us more building materials that we can work with in the future. We've got the woodworking bench, which will give us the fishing pole if we need it. As well as uh, anything else that we might need. Uh, Build-wise, I think it might be in our best interest to place it here, though. 
And we'll have the grinders on this side, and we'll have the sawmills on this side. Uh, obviously I'm gonna need more room eventually, but for now this should cut it quite nicely. Alright, from there though, let's see, foundation-wise, we are gonna need forge flooring, so that's gonna require some copper. But thankfully, I do have the means to make this happen. Ideally, we want to use stairs to get another floor. But that's another thing entirely. Well, I guess I can do it. There's no harm in it. And it is nighttime, so this only just makes my job easier, so... So, let's go... Stairs... Boom. We've now got a third floor. Okay, let's set up the foundation. This will not work. Okay. There we go. Here, we will quickly take this mist brazier up, just in case. Although, we really don't need it up here. Now, the forge is going to require its own level of uh, sophistication, so this level is going to be dedicated a lot to forge. So we should uh, be mindful of that, because forge materials are a, necess a necessity to a degree. Okay. Uh, what is the forge or the workbench used for? Uh, forge flooring. Okay. So we do need this up in the forge, wherever that's going to be. Probably going to be up here, obviously. I'll leave enough room to make it interesting, though. That's for certain. Uh, we're gonna actually need room for the tailoring station as well, so that'll probably be what diversions we, uh, settle on. So, yeah, one area is gonna be for tailoring, the other is gonna be for forging. Then we need a research room, I believe. And that's going to require a whole bunch of space, no less. Uh, we don't have the recipe for tailoring yet, or the recipe designed for tailoring. But we'll have to address that as well. But all in due time. Yeah, so what I can do is I can make one side the workshop, the other side tailoring. So for now, let's make, or let's get some copper so that way we can start making the tiles. We'll go from there. So we need to go into here, grab the copper. Grab this, because we do need the research station up here. Well, we can move the station up here for now, because we don't need it anywhere specific. And we'll do the forge flooring. We're going to go with... Let's go with the redoubt pattern. And let's see. Do I want to extend this a little bit? Uh, here's how we'll do it. We will... We'll go into Castle, we'll go into Invisible Foundation here and do that. Then we'll toss in the forging stuff in one side. And there we go. And for this side, we will just leave blank for now. Leave a 
castle entrance here. Then we'll do another here. There we go. Not perfect, but it gets the job done. And when we're ready, we can actually build up yet another stairway here. Like so. And while not complete, it will be uh, the cornerstone for what we're doing here. But yes, this will be where our tanning stuff goes. For now. Uh, we will have to set up a tannery properly in this room, but it will basically cover all the tailoring stuff. This will cover the smaller stuff. Uh, this might even be a prison part, uh, which we can uh, designate by using a door here. Uh, yeah, in fact, I could use the castle entrance here to designate this as an entrance of its own. And this will be just a room for prisons when I do eventually get to that point. I guess I could also make an effort to move this by setting up a castle wall here and then a castle entrance here just to make it look nice and uniform so this will be dedicated to a specific th this will be settled to alchemy which will be nice we've got the ancient symphony gates we've got, we've got very blue versions of them too How much are these? Stone and planks? That's not bad. We are going to need more materials though, because we've spent an excess amount now, but that's perfectly fine considering how much we've done thus far. We've still got a lot to do, uh, namely the ver vermin nest is going to have to be addressed as well as the servant coffin. But I mean, with how our defenses are going to go, we're going to have two doors here, we're going to have a stairwell here. We'll probably have more doors dedicated here. Probably with servants being on this side here. And yeah, we're just going to ultimately have a lot to go for. We'd have to obviously worry about um, vampire bats, but that's assuming we're in multiplayer. We are not in multiplayer. So these defenses are pretty much just there to be there. there there's no practicality for it as why there's no doors to begin with. But I digress. It's fun to, uh... It's fun to plot. Fun to plan. Set my, uh, coffin there for now. Until I make, uh, it a little bit more fancy. But, uh, yes. That is that for now. We will deposit what we don't need in here. Herbs go here, alchemy stuff there, and we'll put the tailoring stuff away here. I should probably move the knowledge back down here just to make it a little easier on myself, but it really doesn't matter, I mean, realistically. All right, but yes, that's that for now. Okay, let's see, what do I need to do? Uh, it's been a while. Let's see. We should go into V-Bloods here. We need to take out Beatrice the Tailor, I believe. Yeah, because she's in uh, Act 2. And then, of course, we got to get some iron, I believe, for iron tools. Yeah, used to craft weapons and armor. We do need the Hollow Fang gear set as well. We also get the tailoring bench, which is something that we are going to need, and we get a smithy, which is going to require iron and sulfur. So we need to get ourselves some cotton yarn, which we currently lack, I do believe. So we are going to have to get some material there, and for that, we need to go into the next area. So, with that in mind, we need to go to the Dunley farmlands, and the easiest way is to go through here. And I believe what's her face should be in one of the villages. I believe this village here. I could be wrong though. 
So ideally, we want to teleport to this vampire way gate is what I'm going to try and go for. Yeah, we're going to go this way gate and we're going to try and get some cotton yarn because that seems to be the uh, go-to method of what we need. We are running on uh, creature blood, but that's perfectly fine for me. Okay, we're going to follow this path here. And we're going to make sure we get as much um, blood rose as we can, because we're going to need that for uh, later recipes. That's for sure. Oh, that's just a trap. I thought that was actually an animal. Or a plant creature. Find it funny how they just focus on me once uh, things go awry. There we go. Got them all. But yes, we get wool thread just casually from taking these guys out, so no reason to not take them out. Get a garlic resistance potion for a study, which is going to be really nice. That'll help with research, that's for sure. There we go. Not a lot, but it's still something. We did get a recipe out of it, so I can't really complain. Uh, overall, we got wool thread, which is not what we need. We need yarn. So, worst case, if I don't find what I'm looking for... I guess I could just look around here. Let's see. Yeah, no. None of these areas have what I'm looking for. Cotton. Yeah, there, there doesn't appear to be anything of that nature that we really want, so we'll just ignore it. We need wool, specifically. Well, wool thread? No, it's it's different. It's like that ball of yarn. Okay, I believe this somewhere around here, this village is necessary. Well, the village around here is necessary. <laughs> I just have to remember to lean in with the shots, so... That's the only thing that uh, seems to be the issue. Uh, I guess I can also deal with the horses here. Let's see. Let's see, what stats do you have? You have an amazing set of stats. I'm actually gonna use you. The acceleration... Yeah, the speed and acceleration aren't that great, but we can amplify that. The turn radius is good enough, as it is. If anything, it's a bit too good. That horse will uh, do us wonders, I suppose. Okay. And what about you? How you? Your stats are even better. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go with this horse, because it's arguably way better. We'll grab everything here. 
And let's see, do we have any herbs? We do not, but we can easily get some. Or play fiber. It's not a lot, but it will help. The duration. Okay, uh, we're gonna want to blood mend here. Sanguine regeneration. That guy is uh, really dangerous, <laughs> to say the least. But uh, thankfully, we got plenty of healing coming for it. Uh, horse is thankfully gonna be fine, so that's good. And I'll just let my uh, passive regeneration handle the rest. Oh, right. Uh, let's take you out. That's iron, so we obviously want this. Okay, there we go. Got it. Alright, from here... I guess we're going into Dawnbreak Village. Let's just be careful here. And there we go. Get the blood type of a warrior, which is arguably going to be a little better here. Uh, we want to avoid Jade if we can help it. As we want to just take out um, the Tailor, if anything. But surely just get rid of everything here. Make sure we avoid the gaze of uh, Jade, who is going to be always a pain in the butt to deal with. Uh, that is a 55 rogue. That is a whole bunch of scholars. Take the 66 blood. For the roof. There we go. 
It's gonna get daytime here really quickly, so we gotta be very careful here. It's getting to the uh, danger zone of sorts. There we go. Learned corrupt skull yet, so we ignore that. Grab everything here. Be careful of the sun. Grab everything here. Thing here. Drop the silver because we don't need it right now. Expected. <laughs> okay, so it appears uh, Beatrice has a uh, darker side to her. Yeah, no, uh... Okay, so Brandy has a darker side if you're on brutal difficulty, which, you know, I'm not too surprised. New knowledge acquired. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> Wasn't exactly expecting that from uh, a brutal difficulty Granny, but hey. That's the difference you got uh, in the difficulties. So there you go. Uh, let's see. Drop these. Grab that. Grab the revenants stone. You seriously don't need the silver, but it's there, I suppose. So it is something. We are going to need more cotton yarn, though. That inevitably is going to be the. Uh... It, that inevitably is going to be useful. <laughs> Finally, dealt with you. Just deal with the worker here. There we go. Take everything except for the coins. As much as I want to collect the coins and utilize them, that's just not realistic with uh, our capabilities. Cotton that. seeds are definitely a must. So we are going to drop the... Drop the leather because we've got so much of it. To carry that. 
And besides, the rugged hide will do the majority of uh, that collection there. My bags are filled. Gem dust is always going to be handy. We'll grab everything there. There is no space in my inventory. Everything there. So far, so good. Don't need the 43 brute, as far as I'm concerned. We are going to avoid the nuns for now. I quickly go grab everything My else, and filled. we should be good. There is no space in my inventory. Minor sun resistance. I should probably use that. I must make room. Uh, let's to drop carry the. That. Drop the Gobi. We don't need the Gobi as much as anything else. Okay, we gathered as much as we can here. Quickly gather uh, these little extra bits here. All right, let's get out of here. We've gotten everything that we can, and it's good to know that some of the enemies here are devastatingly scary. All right, we are going to quickly just deposit a whole bunch of plant fiber here. All right. I guess we'll make our way back. Or at the very least, we should get to a uh, next area. Okay, so we've now got the recipes for a Hunter's Cloak, which will increase our garlic resist. Got cloth, cotton yarn. We will have Vincent be our next target. But uh, what we'll do is we're going to go to this Vampire Way Gate. And we'll continue on from there. We'll have this horse basically be our means of traveling to and fro. Even though it's not as fast as what it could be. But that's fine. Alright, this horse will effectively be our uh, go-to for travel from base and whatnot. And let's deposit what we can. Doing quite well, all things considering. There we go. We're going to take the cotton feeds because we can use that to grow stuff. Tailoring supplies. We're still going to need way more cotton yarn. Uh, we can get it from a loom, too, as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, to make a loom, we need planks, copper, and wool thread. That is easily acquired. We've got wool. Yeah, we've got, we've got everything that we need there. So it's just a matter of making the loom, which is a tailor-specific item. And that can go in with the others. Uh, let's see. Foundation-wise, we don't have anything for such production, so that is something worth noting. Okay, but I digress. Planks, copper, and wool thread. Planks, copper. We'll take this little tidbit as well as this. Take these. Alright, knowledge. We are going to take this, this, and this. And let's get this research done. This is study knowledge. This is, res uh, this is research desk. Okay, so we get some pant stuff. Nothing too crazy. Toss those in. Consumables go there. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to quickly go and uh, take my plant fiber out. 
There we go. Okay, plant fiber. We also got the paper press, which is a lot of very specific thing. That is not going to be something that we can get just yet. All right, um... Uh, growing plots, here we go. Okay, so... Sunflowers go there, cotton goes here. Here we go. We'll have to establish something even better, but that'll come in due time. We'll have to uh, set up like a proper garden eventually, and that'll probably be on the lower half of the uh, base. This is more so decoration, if anything, but I digress. Okay, these gem stuffs we're gonna have to stuff in here, I guess. We are also going to need a servant eventually, so that's going to be a necessary situation there. Okay, let's see. Deposit the hearts here. We'll let that grind away. And the processing here. We're going to set these up here. And let's see. Alright, we'll let those process on their own. We are going to need something better than Traveler's Rats. Uh, Night Stalker stuff, actually. We should probably get some of this. Oh, no, wait. We've already got the Night Stalker stuff. Never mind. Keep forgetting that we have, uh, stuff akin to that. Uh, let's see. What did I want to build? I wanted to build a, uh, refinement thing. I wanted to build this, which requires wool thread. We also need the paper presses, but that is less so important. Okay, so we needed tailoring, get the loom stuff. We will settle for two looms, I believe. That should cover the majority of what we need here. There we go. Let's see. We wanted uh, cotton yarn, so now we need cotton. Which can easily be acquired by going into the cotton areas, but to do that, we need to effectively go into the cotton zone. Which, in order to get the tailoring bench anyways, we need to go there anyways. So, we've got to get some wood, we've got to get some cotton, and we've already got the blood essence covered, so that isn't a issue. So let's deposit everything we don't need. We're gonna split this half because we do need uh we, we do need the cotton at very least well we do need this to at least feed the horse, which is gonna help us transport items. That alone is good. Okay, we're gonna warp back over to this vampire rear gate. And we're gonna need to get some supplies, so. First, extend the uh, life shelf life of this horse. We're gonna call her. 
Let's just call it Carrot. Why not? Carrot the horse. As for where we're gonna go, I think this is the most ideal place for us. Yeah, going to this one is gonna be ideal. So let's go. We are gonna have to uh, contend with daytime issues, but that is not that big a deal. This should be enough. Let's get going to the cotton farm. We are going to suffer from uh, issues here and there, but that's fine. things. If we go into here, we should be able to get what we need. There we go. Get some cotton and some fish, no less. Okay, back up to here. So we are going to suffer from garlic issues eventually, but that is not a concern right now. There we go. Get regular amethyst, not bad. Not bad at all. That clears up that area. We can actually go to the back here. As needed. Because we can at the very least get some Blood Rose. Blood Rose is always going to be a good addition. And yeah. We're finally reaching the peak of the summit here which is where all the garlic resides. So once we cross the threshold, yep, we get garlic exposure. So we gotta be careful with the garlic, but uh, honestly, not that big an issue. It's just gonna give us a uh, stacking debuff that will uh, totally make us really unresistant. Irresistible to target. Well, that's fine. Garlic is nothing more than a repel. And it will wear off. This is probably the smallest farm, but the easiest to harvest. So, that is something worth noting. Okay, we're up to 40. Which does suck, but that's fine. Thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Oh god, uh, the sunlight was getting at us now. Okay, I should probably uh, do with you guys. Okay, we Carrot took quite a bit of damage, but thankfully they are just going to heal. That's good. Okay, that is a, a small sum of uh, cotton that will get us through. It's not going to be the end-all be-all, though. Let's see, what else can we go for?
It might be in our best interest to go... There. I guess I can go here, check this out. It'd probably be for the best. Uh, are we gonna go... Yeah, no, we do not want to go that way. We want to go the opposite way. Preferably, we want to take the long route around. It's not the fastest, but it will get us there eventually. Yeah, ideally we want the longest route. This will uh, keep us safe. Okay, so far so good. This area is cotton and sunflowers. Okay, so this is exactly where I needed to be. Okay. Alright, it's time. There we go. As long as I'm careful, we should be fine. I gotta avoid, obviously, what's her face here. The sunflowers are just an added boon to have, so me doing this is necessary. We'll go up here. We are going to have suffer from a significant garlic overture. Well, significant art garlic issues. But we'll be fine. It can only stack up to 100 times, so we do take double damage now because of the garlic, but that's fine. Okay, let's backtrack because we've got plenty enough cotton, I think. But, uh, yes, no, now we've got to avoid, uh, the enemies that are gonna come our way, so. This is gonna be our method. Our method of avoidance, if you will. But with that, yeah. We just return back to base. And we will be able to get as much cotton as we need here for the occasion. Alright. Go back to the Castle Waygate here. Back to the home base. And off we go. We will quickly go and uh, clear up this. There we go. A nice good old harvest. That'll be good for us. Deposit what we don't need and we'll go from there. See, I don't have any other fish, so yeah, that should be good. Gems, herbs. Take out the cotton because we're going to need that in a moment. Alchemy can go in. Tailoring wise, uh, we are going to need the cotton yarn, so we'll grab that. Knowledge, we can deposit all that. There we go. Symbols, we don't need to worry about, so we'll just split the cotton here. And off we go. Not perfect, but it'll get the job done. 
So now, all we do is we take this cotton. We don't want to go in here. We want to go in here. So 325, it's not a lot, but it will have to do for what we're doing. Uh, the cotton yarn at hopefully will be enough to get 20 across the board. It's what? 325 per, that's 650. It might be enough. For every 16... Uh, 325 divided by 16, that's around 20. Yeah, so we should be getting like 40 cotton yarn. Around that range, anyways. Okay. Let's see, what do we need to do next? I guess we'll quickly deposit the Tainted Heart, so that way we get some uh, more blood. That is going to be the ideal situation for us. We should also make an effort to find a minion to finally put into our uh, coffin here. If only to set us up for the uh, immediate future. Um, we don't need to do that if we don't need, want to. We'll just deposit those, that way that fills up. Let's deposit everything in the alchemy store. Let's actually see what we need for an upgrade to tier 3. Let's see. We need 24 glass, 8 reinforced planks, and a greater blood essence. Thankfully we got greater blood essence, so we just need 2 more. Hmm. So yeah, we just need more than, huh. So we need glass and reinforced planks. That is easy enough to grab. Uh, I believe we can get the majority of it over here, though, which is where the glass blower exists. But for our sake, we don't want to go there. So I guess next goal is to go to the haunted iron mine for iron ore. It would be my choice, if anything. Yeah, I think it's high time we go into the Haunted Iron Mine, because this will get us plenty of resources. I think that'd be for the best. Okay. But yeah, no, this is for uh, iron tools and whatnot, so this is probably for, for the... Uh, this is arguably the best choice that we can do. Okay, see you later. Okay. I'll have to play this carefully, because uh, there's only so much that we can do here. We can just get iron from the sides, I suppose, so there is no, tr there is no problem with us doing this. But, eh, I don't know. I'll still do it this way, just so I have, I can say that I'm getting iron for at least. We can say it's like a ne necessary evil, if you will. There we go. Gun is done. We are going to need more sulfur, so I am going to start breaking this as well. It might be in our best interest to break all the sulfur notes that we can do as well. If only for the uh, extra usage that we can get out of it. Okay. I'm going to 
Leave my horse here. Get some iron here. Not bad. We're actually really lucky on the iron depart department, so that's good. There we go. 92 iron. Not bad. I'll give you a little bit more. Just had to really wail into the enemy here. Have to play it really safe, if you will. Let's play it safe here. Oh, nearly got hit there. All right. play it safe there, but otherwise we're fine. Alright, anything in here? No. Yeah, we're, we ideally want to just go in. No, no reason to hesitate here. Hey, we even got some healing here. Nice. That's actually good. I've been meaning to get my hands on a uh, proper healing uh, blood guru, at least. There we go. Still suffering from the whole uh, like issue, but hopefully that won't be a big, big issue. Yeah, we're gonna get a whole bunch of iron though because of this. So that's good. Okay, grab these. All right, 
There we go. And there we go. We will drop this wood because we don't need it. And we'll go from there. Uh, no problem, Shelby Malone. We should be good. Alright. I should probably drop the clay here. I don't think I need the leather or the thick... Well, I keep the thick hide. Because thick hide is still useful to us. Rugged hide, less so. But we'll still keep it because it's a little better. We'll drop the crude miles... Or the crude gemstone, though. We shouldn't need crude uh, gemstones anymore. As far as I'm concerned. <laughs> But yeah, no problem, Shelby. Uh, it's been a while since I've last checked the rules personally, so I wouldn't know what exactly is written there, but yeah. Yeah. Everybody has their personal preferences. I've already got somebody in mind for artistry and all that, so I'm in no rush to get that all set up and everything, so. Ow. <laughs> Hold on, let me focus on this. There we go. That was him. But yeah, no, uh, I already have somebody in mind, so that's sort of what I've been doing. For the majority of... Well, I've got my own personal choices, essentially, on who I want to commission and all that, so I worry... That's a whole other thing. <laughs> Uh, as of right now, I do not have a community s or server that, uh, I currently run or do. But, uh, yeah. Maybe in the future, when I do get, you know, more popularity, I probably will do that sort of thing, but... I don't know. We'll have to see. It's still a long, growing process, and I don't think I'm gonna get into that until, like... I get, like, an actual big, big following. But, all of these... run low. Go. Let's see, how's our resources? 750? Not bad. Not bad for uh, resources. We are running low on uh, blood, so that will become an issue. When I do create that, sure, I'll let you know. Go. So far, so good. Alright. This will be our third stack of iron, which will be pretty good for us. Definitely gonna get a lot cooking, I imagine, when I get back, but overall, we don't need to necessarily go overboard with the iron. We just need to get enough to replace our current gear with it. If only for the fact that we need more, uh, hi higher quality tools for the occasion. And of course we gotta be careful of, uh, the fell fire here. That's always gonna be an issue. Alright. It is getting to night time though, so that is good to know. Vincent. I believe I remember having issues with Vincent. He's a uh, very, very difficult boss. Room if I want so to we are going to need to prepare against him. Ideally, I'd like to get some more potions against him. But I highly doubt I'm going to get to that point. Yeah, no, Vincent's a uh, very particularly dangerous individual. I should be very weary of the guy. Hey, 
Okay, let's gather everything here. Take out the iron ore here. I am running low on blood, so I will have to uh, be careful here. Hopefully I will be able to get my hands on some more, but for now, let's just down one of the tainted hearts here, just to give ourselves some boost. And we'll go from there. Merciless Iron Pistols. That could actually be really good. Uh, let's drop the plant fiber here. Nearly. Got down there. No space in my kind of predicted that be the issue. Down a vermin salve to keep us tied over. We got a malignant, malignant skeleton charm. And let's see, what do we drop? I guess gem dust is less important here. I must make room as is the plant fiber. Full burn, we don't have access to just yet. Take everything here, drop the topaz. Alright, I ideally we just want to go. We don't need to be here for too longer. We've got the iron ore that we need. And any ore is gonna just hurt into My our inventory. Well, it's gonna hurt to carry. Well, I'll grab what I can here. Should be able to at least get one more node. Yeah, no, that should be enough. I don't need to go two overboard here. Okay, let's get out of here before we, uh, perish. Avoid you. these guys here. And all we gotta do is just take care of it here, and off we go. From here, all we gotta do is just go back to the Vampiric Waygate, because that will be the safest option for us. Oh, the Sun Priestess we want to avoid. <laughs> do not want to be engaging with her just yet, that's for certain. Uh, but yes, no, that is basically everything sorted. All we gotta do is just run back. I think, I, yeah, I know everything is sorted. We just need to get our recipes learned and all that. But that's gonna take some time because we do need to study. Which is inevitable. We'll just, I'll just be thankful there's uh, Blood Rose brews that are uh, coming in clutch. Okay, we should probably also get a deer blood here. Or that deer blood. There we go. 6% should be fine. And we are now at 22 for garlic blood. That's perfect. That'll save us some trouble. We'll just deposit we'll just deposit all these gems and we should be good. We are obviously going to need to increase our inventory, though, so that will be an issue that we will need to address. Thankfully, I think that's an easy fix, though. Okay. But for now, let's just stow everything that we don't need. We should be fine. Uh, whetstones can go, but we'll keep everything else. 
Gems can go. Herbs. Alchemy stuff can go in here. Tailoring stuff can go in here, except for obviously the cotton. Knowledge obviously goes in here. We need a slight bit more paper, but we should be fine other otherwise. Consumables, don't need to worry about. And we'll toss the gems in here. There we go. And what about in here? No wood. Okay. So yeah, all we gotta do is just split these up. And that should be fine. We are only up to four ingots of iron. That's perfectly fine though. There we go. That will be sorted out by the time we're back. Now for these. 20 wool yarn. Per, well, that's technically 40, but that's still good. We need 40 planks and 200 blood essence. So we are going to need more planks. So the best way to do that is just literally go outside and we should be able to get as many as we want. Easy enough as can be. We just cut up, cut up literally everything back here and then we should be good. cooking we do get more wood from this so that's good can't complain I do need to uh, obviously spend some time getting wood but uh yeah no we need to wait for the garlic explosion to go down basically which is inevitable that it will grow so yeah truly a grind to be sure use the special ability if you can because that will speed up the cutting process so I could use my ultimate abilities, but would be the point, right? The, the most it probably do is like break the terrain here, which is pretty fun, but yeah, don't need it. Yeah, we don't need it. It's fine. We go to the other side here. Here we go. Nice. Looking. We've got nearly 3,000, that's good. I am gonna need the thicker logs though, I do believe, because I do recall that there is like thicker logs that we can take advantage of, so that might also be to our interest eventually. Yeah, we 
got over 3,000, so that's good. at all. Cool. Okay, down to the last tidbits here. Yeah, we're getting some insane amounts of wood, so that's good. <laughs> I really should get uh, some stone, though, but yeah, I'm not in too much of a hard-pressed situation for that, that's for certain. But uh, I should definitely uh, think about uh, getting some stone somehow. Well, the easiest way, obviously, being to literally just cut it down ourselves. But I digress. Well, I guess this would be the good time of any to get as much stone as we can. Yeah, might as well just break as much as we can here. And it's gonna restore itself, so that's good. Yeah, once this stove breaks and uh, we clear it out, we should be go on stone for quite a while. Not sure what the clay will do for us if we uh, crush that out in the crusher. I guess I can uh, check that out eventually. But it's not a hard pressed focus for us. But regardless, I should be fine. Not bad at all. That clears up the majority of the uh, lower floor. I guess I can quickly just deal with this as well while I'm at it. No harm, no foul. Alright. From here, we just need to split up things as needed. go. Alright. Rock in here, rock in here. And then wood and wood. Gonna get some insane amounts of planks because of this little grind that we went on. We'll let this stone do its work. Uh, how is the alchemy table? Eh... We can do better, but it's fine. I'll toss in the unsullied hearts and all that, so that will just work its magic as time goes on. Let's see, what else have we got here? Alright, Furnace has cooked up three iron ingots for both sides. That isn't really a loss. But I mean, considering we're going to be using a forge in a minute, that's going to be fine. Uh, we need a leatherworking station, which is part of the tailoring. We also need a tailoring bench, so that's going to be an another thing that we'll work towards. 
We still need 32 iron and 6 more sulfur. I do believe we have the sulfur we need, is what I would have said, unless I didn't have it. But yes, we need planks and leather. So we're going to quickly go for this, and we'll go into the knowledge, well not storage, uh, we'll go into here. And we'll quickly make a leather working station. Pause with those, let's see. To make a leather bag, we need leather and coarse thread. Thankfully we got both. We are just going to make one just so we have the resources for it. Pause with all this. I am making it haphazardly, but considering we just need a room for this, it's perfectly fine. But yes, the leather working station gives us seven slots now. That's perfect for us. We will set this here. But uh, yeah, that is the... We've now got seven more slots to carry things. That's going to make our lives a hundred times easier. We are obviously going to need way more in that department, but we'll worry about that later. So yes, so now we just need the sulfur... Because the iron is cooking, so that's all we gotta worry about. The best way we can get the sulfur is probably by going over to these mine, or the uh, quartz farm here. So we're gonna warp back, we're gonna get the forge running, because that is gonna get us our iron tools. And we're also gonna get our planks set up there, so there's that going for us. So we'll take advantage of that when we get to the ch when we get to that point. Uh, we'll just deposit those there. I forgot to stow some stuff, but that's fine. We'll live with our choices. And you know what? I see something I want. Okay. Take the 50 blood through. This will uh, save us for a while. Not perfect, but it'll get the job done. All right, off we go. And you know what? Before we go any further, I should definitely grab as many quartz and uh... yeah, yeah. I should grab as much quartz. And what is it? Sulfur? Yeah, sulfur. I should grab as much of uh, that as I'm going along this. Because I'm always really going to need to get some uh, more teleportation points, obviously, so that's going to be an inevitability. Alright, Garrett. We continue the journey. You know what? Maybe not. Maybe we don't harvest what we uh, come across. Save ourselves some time and effort. We're gonna have to do this anyways, of traveling long periods of area. Let's just be careful of uh, whom we uh, get targeted by. Okay. We're gonna take the long way around here. Save us from going through an encampment of all things. The, the Dunleaf Merchant Farm. That is not a place we really want to be at. to make it to an easier teleport location here. That's good for me. Yo. Okay, so Bedrock Pass is where gems reside. That's a good place to note. And that is also where the gem individual is. So we gotta be mindful of that. But that is less so of a concern. I'm more so concerned with, uh... 
I'm getting over to this vicinity. I just gotta be careful of the tree aspect of things, because... Yeah, shadows will shift and change as it comes apparent. God, uh, here's not looking too good. There we go. So, carrot's not looking too good, but they'll heal really quick eventually, so it's not, it's not all bad. But uh, by going down this path, we will have the advantage of uh, getting as much quartz and uh, sulfur as we need here. It's very much a uh, quartz thing, though, I believe. Definitely take the warrior now. There we go. Got it. Okay, let's uh get some healing with the verbal salve on our uh toes. That'll at least keep us uh healed up for the majority. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Just wait for the flames to die down. There we go. Chests here with sulfur and whatnot, so that's gonna be good. Alright, cool. But yeah, no, this is basically a sulfur mine. Don't be too surprised if we're only getting. No, it's a quartz mine, I should say. Don't be too surprised if we just get quartz, but there is sulfur to be had here, so. That alone is merit enough to be here. Okay. At least, at the very least, we're gonna get glass by being here, so that's good. That is gonna get us the potion bottles we need, if anything. I do believe we need to take this individual out, though, if we want the higher quality potions, though. Uh, let's see. If we go up here... Uh, yeah, no. We don't have access to fighting her, so we do not want to fight her just yet. But she will give us the potions that we need if uh, we get to a certain point. This is, uh, not our, uh, playground, I guess. Yeah, let's, let's leave this be. As much as I want to keep going, I don't think this is the wise choice. We did manage to get some, uh, quartz and, uh, sulfur, though, so that was, 
it was uh, part of the objective that we needed to overcome anyway, so... That was an inevitable thing that we needed to cover. Uh, I guess we go here. Yeah, we're gonna go this way and see what we come across. Make sure we avoid uh, getting burned too heavily by the sun. And off we go. We just need to circle around here to get up to top here. And then we will uh, start preparing in advance for what we do absolutely need to handle. We are still going to need the sulfur, though. Mm -hmm. The best way I can think about getting more sulfur is finding some somewhere that does sulfur. Uh, the Bandit Stronghold seems to be the best way to get it. There is the copper mine, but that's not going to be enough. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm going to have to go to the bandit stronghold for the sulfur that we need. That seems like the re- Well, there is the sulfur quarry. I keep- I completely forgot about that. That's for sure. Yeah, no, let's go to the quick- Let's make a quick trip to the Sulfur Quarry. That would literally be the best option for us. I mean, hey, we're running out- we're- we're lacking Sulfur, so why not a Sulfur Quarry to solve our problems? And hey, there should also be processed Sulfur there as well, so that alone is a good en enough reason to go there. Uh, deposit those. There we go. I'll even deposit these, because I can. Alright, let's get going. Actually, before I do go... Oh, no way, I need more sulfur for that very reason, so... Off we go. Well, actually, no, hold on. We should definitely uh, process the resources, because that will uh, help us a little bit. So take this. Take... I guess... Yeah, we don't need the quartz just yet, so we'll worry about that later. Yeah, we just need to process the sulfur. That's really all we need to process right now. Okay. Iron's going well and strong. Got 16 ingots worth, so that's doing really well for ourselves. And we should be good. Alright, let's go. But yeah, all we need to do... Oh god, we're gonna burn. That was close. <laughs> well, that comes with uh, not preparing any... Uh investment there to uh, protect against the sun. So I really only have myself to blame for that. I guess I can still get the uh, fire blossoms though, so that's good. There we go, we got some blood rose seeds, that's gonna be nice.
right, there we go. Everything here. Back up a bit again. At least we're getting sulfur uh, slowly but surely. Uh, we still need more, obviously. Okay. Clive is going to be a bit of a nuisance, so we do want to avoid him if we can. Yeah, we'll just stay, we'll just let leave Clive to his own devices. No need to uh, bother to do. So that is three out of the four that we need. If we break this sulfur node here. Just snap that, snap this. Nice. Overall, we're doing pretty well for ourselves. Sulfur is uh, slowly stacking up. Really good for us. Okay, I'm hurting, I'm hurting. I need to go here. All right, you luck with this. Carefully just uh, skirt on the edge of the sunlight. We're playing with fire when it comes to the sunlight here. Okay, there we go. At least we got plenty of spots that we can get some sulfur from, so that's good. Okay. Jump over to here to give ourselves as much freedom as we need. Uh, I guess we want to go this way. Just let those blow up so that way we get all the materials. Nice. Ignore Clive as intended. I guess I could deal with him for the recipe, but do I really need to do that? I don't feel like I need to, so I'm not going to. I'll still break what I can't. Well, I guess I can deal with Clive. It's going to be dangerous, but I mean, what boss isn't when we're dealing with uh, summertime suffrage? We're gonna have to uh, deal with a lot of uh, daytime bosses anyway, so I guess I guess we can deal with them. Why not, right? I mean, there's a perfectly good spot to fight him at, so. I've got a burning desire to wreak some havoc.
Uh, by doing this, we'll get plenty of uh, materials from uh, just him dying. So we may as well, right? New knowledge we get Scholar River, Harsh Coal, we get Merciless Copper Longbow Recipe, which is alright. We can equip that, even though we don't need it. Alright. Uh, sulfur, we're doing quite well on. We are obviously going to need more, but thankfully we've gotten the three sulfur we need. Well. We've gotten a mount. Here we go. There could be good. What else we got here? Let's see. Wolves are fine. Don't need to worry about them. Overall, the sulfur collection has been uh, fruitful to a degree. Mainly by destroying uh, the monsters that inhabit the area, but that's about it. The, oh, 87 creature. That's actually really good. We're gonna take that. Yeah, no, I'm, t I'm taking the 87 creature blood. That's way better than warrior blood at this point. If only for the fact that it gives damage of abduction and sun resistance. So that's good enough for me. Yeah, that gives some insane sun resistance, which is kind of what we need right now. There you go. Okay, let us deposit what we don't need and we should be good. Okay. Uh, we still need to get some more here and there, but otherwise we're basically good there. House stone. Uh, stone's fine. We're going to take the copper at least. There we go. We'll take the sulfur. Put the gem away. Herb storage. So those, but we keep the seeds. Tailoring, it's in there. Knowledge can go in here. We'll take those out. Let's see. Uh, this is a research desk thing, so we keep that. Okay, and consumables go in there. I guess I can take them out if need be, but I don't need to. Uh, we will ta- well, we can sacrifice this gem, at least. I don't need that as desperately. Uh, any process here? Uh, we've already got the Merciless Copper Longbow recipe. So I guess we discover a new one. We get the Sun Resistance Brew. Perfect. We'll de deposit the copper here. All right. For this, we toss that there, and the fire blossoms go here, don't they? There we go. Split these like so. All right, nice. Got some insane amounts of planks now, which is exactly what I was hoping for by doing all this. There we go. Nice. From here, we just deposit the sulfur here. We've got plenty enough sulfur as it is now. That's good. Alright. This should be enough for what we're trying to make. We just need to get the iron ingots. Uh, yeah, so we need the cotton yarn and the iron. So the iron is here. We've thankfully got plenty. We need the cotton. And what else? We need blood essence here. Yeah, blood essence for both. 
So we just take 1,500 of it, and we can get one for each, which is good. So from here, all we do is take the smithy here. There we go. That is the smithy, and now we can get some iron tools once we get iron. Or enough iron. And that should cover the majority of our recipes here, so... Ideally, we want to go with a set of... Well, we're going to go with the probably the iron spear, iron mace, iron axes, and iron longbow, but we probably also want a one-slot item. I'm probably going to go with the whip, unless otherwise stated, but uh, the iron sword for now is probably going to be best. I could also go with iron greatsword. I don't know. There is a variety of items that we can utilize here. Just depends on uh, what we want to go with. But uh, now that we've built that, we can now build a tailoring bench. So we're going to move this over here. There we go. I will take this to the side. There we go. And tailoring here we go. To get the next tier of uh, clothing, which is the Hollow Fang gear, which will increase our health significantly, is probably going to be the go-to. Hmm. Yeah, this will increase our health by an additional, what, 20 per piece? 20 to 30, give or take. It won't yield any other positive benefits, so we won't get as much movement speed boost. So it's not as good as the uh, Shade Walker gear set right now. So we are going to uh, avoid it. But we are going to need iron tools. So that is going to be an inevitability for us. So we'll stow those for now. So, alchemy goes in here, herbs go here, well, no, uh, uh, tailoring goes there, and knowledge goes here. Uh, I'm actually going to move these one slot over to make them look a little better. There we go. A little bit more meshed uh, to the wall, because I noticed it looked a bit wonky there. Alright, big all these. This is just gem stuff and paper stuff. Okay, this can also... You can take that, because I don't need that. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's just a, an issue of iron, really, at this point. Uh, I'm probably going to want the Merciless Iron Bow. That's going to be our go to here. I'll take the copper as well while I'm at it. Yeah, no. Let, let's leave that to process. That's going to take some time no matter what we, what I do, so leave that be. Let it process. Let it stew. Okay, but from there... I guess we're going to take the coins, and we're going to go quickly get us some recipes. Because I think that's the biggest hurdle that we need to overcome right now. So that is going to be our objective. We will warp over to this gate, and we'll get to the merchants. go this way because it's a little easier for us. It's a shorter way to go through to get to the merchants. God, this is difficult to get to the merchant. Uh, let's I see. Can I interest you in a little something? 
Okay, no, we don't have the recipes that we need here. How about the gem dealer? Yeah, gem dealer is pretty useless for this occasion. Alright, so nothing that really uh, sticks out there. Um, what we need is basically potions. I think that's like the literal thing that we need. Not bad, not bad at all. We'll teleport here. There we go. We go over to the other gate here. Because I don't see any uh, good trades here. 170 coins, though. That's impressive. Okay, off we go over to here. Alright, Shady Book Dealer. Break it, you buy it. Alright, Warlock stuff. Yeah, no. Okay. Sadly, no recipes that really stick out to us. I can learn some recipes, though, all things considering. So, I guess we'll learn this. And, yeah, we'll, we'll learn the Warlock set. Because I believe the Warlock set is what makes spells stronger. Which is exactly kind of what we're trying to go for. We're trying to go for a spell build this time around. Or at least that's the intended plan. We'll learn these recipes just make our life a hundred times easier by doing it, so that's literally all we're doing. Either way, the recipes are there. We're learning them, slowly but surely. We just need more copper uh, coins, and then we can uh, muster a whole bunch more. All in due time, though. All in due time. But, uh, yes, we go into Research Bench, we'll just quickly learn all these. The Warlock gear set is there. Yeah, we, we originally went with the Shade Walkers, which is, uh... Pretty nice, all things considering. Oh, right, we also get some, uh, nice fancy, uh dressing stuff as well. Hmm. Cosmetic armor set and grants no attributes. Oh. This could be fancy. Ah, uh, whatever. Alright, so let's see. We've already learned the recipes, so we can put the coins away for now. Go. Torts. Herb storage can go there. How's our plants looking? They're looking fine. Quickly just cut those down because we're always going to need to make sure that the seeds come in. Okay, herb storage can go there. There we go. Alright, we're also going to have to deal with this. Um, I guess technically we can just keep the merciless copper gear set until we upgrade to iron. So far, the iron is processing. We are going to need to get the planks here and the rest of the iron here. I think we've spent enough time for it to actually process to get us at least one tool. At the very minimum, one tool is what we're going to get. Uh, we can wait a little bit longer and then we can get this uh, other tool here. Alright, so that's 14. That is not enough for two tools, but it is enough for getting the Iron Longbow, which is going to be way better than what we've got currently. 
if I recall correctly, yes. Uh, 10.9 compared to 13.8, yeah. 25 extra physical damage to creatures with the Iron Spear, which is okay. But we may as well just go Iron Longbow at that point. The Spear would be probably the best, though. Oh, it has a greater effect on creatures. I don't think humans count as creatures. So not the best choice. But hey, it's still there. Either way, this is going to be nice for us. Because this will be a replacement bow for us. So that's going to get us 44 gear level. Shade Walker gear is going to be eh, but it'll do. Alright, put the bow away. Sort. I guess we'll uh, put all of these away now. Alright, now. This is literally the best that we can get ourselves to. I'm going to have to put my faith that this is going to be enough. But uh, before we go any further, I do want to at least locate a single individual that will be good for our coffins. So we're going to look for a... 90 plus blood type, if we can help it. That's going to be our goal, for our goal. Look for a 90 plus blood type. Somewhere in this vicinity, preferably, so. So, no blood types of that nature showing up. I am going to have to find Vincent and, uh, along this path anyways, so that's another thing that we've got to look forward to. That's another enemy that we got to address. Uh, I believe I can find him on the main road here, so there is reason to find him. Beyond the obvious. Okay, there is none that really stick out here. So good. See nothing though, as of right now. Seem to be sure, but that's perfectly fine. Ah, Tristan. That's exactly who we need to target. Tristan's going to be arguably harder than any of the other bosses, but, I mean, given his moveset, I think he's easier when compared to everybody else. So I'm going to trust that he's not going to be able to handle us. I'm going to heal, though, just to be certain, because vermin salves are always going to be additionally very good for this occasion. Alright. You're the trash. And I'm the show. Okay. 
Hunter. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't think I can handle him. All right, let's back off. We don't stand a chance, I don't think. We're gonna mend our wound here. Restore my body. Okay. I kind of predict that this is gonna be an issue, so we do need to get our hands on some sort of medical aid here. And ideally, we want to do this at nighttime, but I highly doubt we're gonna get at that luxury. So. We're gonna have to find some way to get our, uh... Yeah, we need to get their recipe in mind, so I think the best way to get that recipe is probably going to Gleaming Meadows. I think that'd be the safest bet, and dealing with the boss there relentlessly. But, uh, we do need the Blood Rose, uh, skins if we want to, uh, deal with this boss. And, of course, buffing up is also a good addition. So getting as much as we can from the uh, potions is what is going to save us from uh, calamity. But uh, nighttime will also help us, so that will also be a a big factor when fighting the enemies. Of course, uh, the iron longbow is a is the best course of action, but uh, getting the upgraded gear for uh, ourselves is also going to be good. Preferably, we want the gear that's going to help us deal more damage, but we can only pray for so much. For now, though, let's just take what we can. I'm going to take as much, uh... Blood roses we can, and any other uh, flower types that we can here. Okay, this should give us a full heal, and then we can gather all the rest of the herbs. 
Hopefully we get a recipe from her, but I highly doubt it. But uh, I feel yeah, stronger. no. We do not get a recipe from her, sadly, but that's perfectly fine because we still get plenty of snow flowers, so that alone is good enough for me. This is a slightly higher cooldown reduction, so we'll grab that. Okay, there we go. Get as many Blood Rose parts as we can. There we go. Not bad, not bad at all. While we didn't get much in the way of materials uh, that I wanted, we did manage to at least get more Blood Rose, which is always going to be a good addition for us. Uh, that said, we are still going to need to get some better gear, so I guess it's going to be a grind to get what we need. I do believe we managed to get the recipe for... Um, yeah, we did manage to get the recipe to get uh, Merciless Crossbows. So there is merit to what we're doing here. But uh, we need to try to push the gear to our utmost limit if we can. So for now, let's just go back to the Castle Waygate. Let's see what sort of uh, items we can craft here. Probably won't be anything too amazing, but it's still something. Take it one step at a time. Okay. Toss that there. Okay, merciless iron pistols. Okay, so no, we did we didn't get the type of uh, merciless iron material that we needed, but we got something that we could use. We're going to take the Enchanted Brew with us. We still do need to, at the very least, make some potions. So it's just a matter of finding the right recipe, which is going to take some time, unfortunately. Hmm. I'll take the seed here, just in case. There we go. Plenty of uh, herbs to add to our collection, to say the least. Okay. We will quickly go upstairs so that way we can deposit the unsullied hearts and tainted hearts for the occasion. There we go. Grab those. Alchemy table. Yep, we still lack what we need. A box full of explosives handled with handled with care can be used to destroy massive resource veins, walls, and doors. Hmm. Uh, yeah, no, until then, we've got to use vermin salves, which I really don't like the idea of. So, let's see if we can't find... Yeah, we still need that recipe, so... Hmm. Let me go into... Let me hit this, and let's see. Okay, the Unjudged General has Scythes. I guess scythe, a Scythe would be the ideal outcome for us. Christina would give us... Okay, so Vincent... Hold on. The Beatrice gives us the Tailoring, which is going to be nice. Vincent gives us Prison Cells and Prison Framework and Reinforced Planks. Christina gives us the chance to get a Silver Thread Bag, which increases our inventory and gives us Silver... Production. Kristen gives us the Great Sword recipe. Krieg gives us the Reaper recipe. Leandra gives us the Scourge Stone Pendants and the Dust Collars, which is really good for us. And Maja. Maja is who we want to target because she will give us the study, which will allow us the upgrades that we need. And I believe she's very heavy on. Uh, on the uh, attacks. So the only thing we really have to worry about is her healing. And of course, we'd have to worry about 
various other things. I don't I don't know. All right. Yeah, no. Uh I'm not confident I can take out Vincent. Uh, if we could, I think dealing with Krieg would be the ideal outcome here. Because I do like the Reaper. And honestly, dealing with Krieg would be the easier target, actually. Now that I think about it. If I deal with Krieg, then I can worry about the, uh... Because there is a certain point in the, uh, which we can take advantage of with dealing with Brieg. So if we can deal with him, uh, at a certain interval, we should be able to take advantage of that and use a scythe for our main weapon, if anything. Uh, wrong way, I need to go this, back this way. But yes, no, uh, Krieg has a very particular, uh... Krieg has a very particular combat style, I believe. So if we can take him out the proper way, that is going to help us significantly. Okay, ignore you guys. We have to bypass them because we couldn't go around. But yeah, we need to deal with him if we want to keep going forward, I feel. So... This is a necessary evil that needs to be overcome. I'm gonna go around here. go. Avoid the enemies as needed. Here we go. Fine, though. Okay, uh, yeah, this is gonna be painful, but thankfully I can just regen my health, but, uh, not a fan of the, uh, damage we're taking, to say the least. Alright, that should be enough. I am gonna take as much iron as I can here, so this is gonna be a nece necessary evil. Hopefully I'll get some recipes that'll help us in the future. that's for sure. <laughs> but if I'm lucky, I should be able to take these two out with real demands. Okay. Okay. 
Now, if I can time it right, or I can drag her over properly, the boss should, uh, come at her, I imagine. Reserves run low. Okay, yeah, no, she's gonna be a bit of a difficult target, though. Shop there a little bit. Alright. I'm a little low on HP, but that's fine. If I can do it right, I can probably get a uh, minion here. Oh, there he is. There's the green. And assuming things go the way I'm expecting them to, they're gonna fight somewhere along here. I'm just assuming things go well, right? Okay. I guess timing isn't really in my favor, so... Not really expecting her to do anything. But if Krieg's gonna be walking over here... Freak makes a uh, makes it a point to walk over here. And what's her face? Usually walks out here. Yet she's gonna start marching over. Okay. So I just need to delay this guy long enough in this vicinity. It could be a problem. I don't necessarily need to beat him, I just need to keep him here. Challenging me is a poor strategy. Yeah. Okay, I just need to keep him here long enough. As planned, she is going to come over, and we just need to back up here. Okay. And we'll take the blood of this rogue here real quick. There we go. Alright, there we go. Leave them to their own devices here. Alright. Oh, hey. Bless this shot. <laughs> we'll use this as the advantage here. Okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We took out one of them. That's good enough. Now I just gotta be really quick here. I gotta really march over here. If I do it really quick enough, I can actually take advantage here and uh, grab her body. And thus giving me a uh, holy resistance, I think? So, it is a bit of a shortcut by using her as a uh, bit of leverage there, but uh... 
Anything to get ahead of the curve, I suppose. Now, this does mean that I won't be able to get the scythe for plan, but we managed to get uh, one of the blood type. Well, we managed to get one of the targets that we needed to get. So that alone is good enough for me. Of course, we just need to take our blood before uh, the chance uh, expires, if you will. So... Doing this now is better than nothing. And we can actually sneak in through uh, just breaking through the wall like that. So there you go. We are going to be making a significant effort to get her first. Ah, oh, does she expire? Oh, here, here she is. Alright, there we go. Got her. We extract the blood from her. It is a little bit of a difficulty uh, spike there, but that's fine. For our troubles, Taste of knowledge. we get Medirith the Bro Blight Archer. And for our troubles, we get Storm Spell Point and Holy Resistance Potion. There you go. Slightly bit of a uh, scuffed little fight there, but that's fine. We got the W in the end, and we also get some Storm Powers. Now, Storm Powers are very fun, I must admit, so I may actually equip one of these. Hmm. I believe Ball Lightning is the strongest, so we are going to equip that. And... Yeah. So Ball Lightning has its uh, a, a uh, damage over time effect, which is really powerful for what it is. And given we're going to be using it a lot, I imagine we're going to be seeing it quite used, seeing some amazing use out of it, I would imagine. Assembly so there you go. Regeneration. Of course, we need to deal with Krieg now, so that is going to be a necessity of its own. Now, he is going to be a bit more difficult to handle, naturally, but he won't be as bad. Because we are going to be using a potion here. This will make things a whole lot easier for us. But uh, we do need to find him in his zone now, which is going to be arguably easier than compared to what we could have done. But alas, this is going to be our method of dealing with them. Alright. But yes, no, uh, getting some iron is going to be nice, so we'll quickly get some more. Always good to get more iron. And yeah. This will uh, help with uh, just gathering materials. So there you go. We'll ignore the rest because we don't need to hard press for it. There we go. Nice. from this chest here. There we go. Alright, let's grab from these. This should be enough resource for what we're doing. Don't need to go too overboard, after all. It is morning time, so we do need to stay in the cave here, at least for a little bit. There we go, take you. 
All right, let's begin. Okay, so I've got to make sure I don't get hit once. Or at the very least, I, I gotta make sure I'm not gonna be hit. For the ever living! Oh, there we go. The boy feels like a plague. Yep, just avoid those. Ow. Nice try. Try. Get some healing. Okay, there we go. Not bad. Ow. And because we're doing indirect damage, this is actually better for us. Nice try. Okay. There we go, got him. Oh, I had to Death really lock in there, but we managed to do it in the end. And that will get us the Reaper Scythe, which is a very good tool that will deal a lot of area of effect damage. Oh. Taste of knowledge. But in doing so, we've managed to deal with Krieg, the Undead General. We had to play really carefully there, but overall we did quite well. And for our troubles, we get a tier 2 unholy spell point, we get reapers, we get skeleton priests, which we can summon at the grave. It is a unit that yields bones, and cha chances for scourge stone and grave dust, but yeah. Skeleton priest is something like that. Vincent is still somebody I'm scared to deal with, but we'll slowly deal with everyone as we go on. But yes, no, storm magic is fantastic. It electrifies your enemies for five seconds, causing physical damage, and to trigger shock, which deals 10% magic damage. So it's basically damage over time in a different sense. It also has chain lightning effects, which is really nice. Uh, out of anything, we should probably get some dash at some point. Yeah, we should probably start focusing on a dash. I'm going to go with Veil of Bones for now. If only to change up our dash. This will at least uh, give us still some healing that we need without uh, breaking the bank for it. So, there you go. That should uh, help significantly our uh, abilities. 
we're gonna skedaddle out of here because we got plenty enough material as is. We shouldn't need to worry too much about uh, materials too much for now. back up here. Nearly. <laughs> Alright, let's get some healing here. From my veins, I rejuvenate. Okay, this should help us significantly with our healing. We are going to need to get some more blood, though. So I should probably get a warrior blood here. Get some warrior blood here. There we go. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now we've got some warrior blood. This will increase our physical power for now, at least for a little bit. We don't need to go too overboard on this. Alright, let's go get ourselves set up. Or let's go get our horse, at least. so good okay let's see how is our gear supply supply doing okay it's doing well uh, I should probably get myself over to this side of the bay or area if only to see what sort of uh I believe there's something over here but I can't be certain I believe there's like a warp gate that you can get on the other side here so it might be in our best interest to uh deal with it. Well, not deal with it, but go to it, if anything. Might be worth our uh, time and effort to do. Okay, hop off. There we go. Not bad. Okay, grab everything here. Was that a blood receipt? Yes, it was. Okay. Just a little bit of loot. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I don't see anything worth noting, so... Yeah, no, we can just keep going. I guess I'll just follow the path a little bit, just to see what we can find. At the very least, we'll be able to find a uh, another warp station here. Yeah, there he is. Okay. It was just a little further up the road. But, uh, yes, this will give us a uh, next road thing that we need. Well, this will give us another teleport station, I should say. That alone is good enough. Let's hop off. And let's go return our loot. And of course, uh, get some new material or new armaments to set us up with. I will quickly just place down the blood rose seed. That way, we got more seeds working. We got more material to work with. Okay, deposit those coins. We are going to need them for recipes in the future. We'll grab these. Grab this. 
Uh, let's see, grab that. Technically don't need the wood, but we'll grab it anyways, just so we can stuff it in to our resource grinders. Deposit those. Tailoring go in. Knowledge. Um, actually, we should probably take the rugged hide here. Yeah, we'll take the rugged hide so that way we can convert it into resources here. Okay, there we go. Drop the materials here. Not a lot, but it'll do. Okay, how's the uh, iron going? 26, not bad. Alright, from here, we... Well, we've got the Iron Reaper here, so we'll make that. This is extra damage to undead, which is pretty cool. We're gonna put the Iron Longbow here, we're gonna put the Spear here. Alright, so Iron Reaper, Iron Axe, Iron Mace, and Iron Spear. There we go. And then we've got to put these uh, away. And then we're basically good there. We'll leave those to their, their own devices. Toss in the Rugged Hide. And let's see. Cotton and Wool Thread. That is what is necessary for the next tier of upgrade here. We'll make an effort to get that done. Actually, you know what? Let's put the spear on the first, and then we can, uh... Yeah, let's put these away for now. There we go. Cool. We are gonna need to deposit these hearts away. Put, we'll just put them in here. That's fine. There we go. But uh, we can make glass bottles now. Uh, let's actually see. Uh, it's fine. We'll worry about those later. Uh, let's see. Research bench we don't need to worry about. Deposit all of our alchemy stuff away. Have a lot of uh, alchemy orbs, that's for sure. Oh, it'll be a worry for later. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so this... Okay, so the Iron Reaper is a very AoE uh, eccentric item. And it's probably going to be what's going to be uh, giving us life. I'm thinking we're going to go with a blood version, just so we have the healing that we get from it, because healing is always nice. But anything goes, really. But uh, I will be using the uh, Iron Spear in the first slot, Axes in the second slot, Mace in the third, and of course the Iron Reaper in the fourth. So now we just gotta wait for the iron spear. We need cotton and wool, is what I believe is the. gonna be getting us our next tier of uh, gear. So, yes, we are gonna need cotton and wool. I believe I can get two pieces for now. That'd be a nice upgrade, because we don't necessarily need to worry too much about the. Uh, we, we don't need to worry about the physical critical strike chap, uh, thing. So let's see. 90 to 119, that's 29 HP. 76 to 101. That is 25. 
Uh, 51 to 67, that's not enough, and 55 to 86, that is not enough. I'm assuming the best choice is to go for the Hollow Fang Chest Guard and Leggings. So we're just going to grab the Chest Guard here. I will lose out on the gear plus one, but that's going to be compensated by the Hollow Fang Chest Guard itself, so there you go. And I guess we can, if we want to, use cloth and coarse thread to get some drip, if we so desire. I may go for the Soma Cruise Coast, if anything. <laughs> I don't know. At the very least, I definitely want to get the Holofang Chest Guard, because I think it's high time we migrate from normal gear sets to higher tier HP gear sets. If only to increase their survivability, because the physical critical strike, well, nice, it's not going to carry us to the end game. So we're just going to equip that. We do lose out on the gear set increase, but that's fine. It's still going to be 44, and if we get some pants, we will get more chances, so there you go. Alright. But, I digress, we are going to need to make some more garlic-based uh, uh, product. So we're going to quickly get some... I guess I can make some healing, I suppose, but that's not good enough. We don't need the out-of-combat healing, we need it in-combat healing now, at this point. Uh, what I will quickly do is... Oh, yeah, no, I need to actually stick with my wool form here for this. Alright, let's make some garlic resistance brew. So we're going to need rats and hell clarion. Uh, we're also going to need sun brew, so that's morning lily and blood rose. And we need snowflower and fishbone for the enchanted brew. The enchanted brew is going to be our spell power, so that literally just helps us cast spells and deal damage, so... That's going to be good. Okay, so we need Blood Rose. We are going to need Hell's Clarion. We need... You know what? Let's just grab all the herbs. Uh, I shouldn't need any of those. And Alchemy Storage. We need Fishbone. That should be all. Yeah, that should be all, because we can't really make more than that, so there you go. We've already got the empty water skin, so there you go. Alright. Oh, right, we need rats. Um... Alright, so we're gonna make ten sun resistance brews. That's gonna be in our seventh slot. Uh, our sixth slot is gonna be, obviously, the... Well... Yeah, no, we need the 6th slot to be just, uh, spell power boosts. That'll be there. And we need rats, so we need to quickly go get some rat here. Thankfully, we got plenty. And we'll just let those process there. It should be good. I am missing key ingredients. There we go. And while we let that process, because we don't need to do much more beyond this. Yeah, so sun resistance is going to be a vital thing for us, I do feel. We are going to need a better traveler. We're going to need a better cloak. So we should try to make a new one. Let's see. We need a hunter's cloak, so we need eight cotton yarn. That's an easy ask. So, eight cotton yarn. I do believe we have that in here. Uh, we've got seven. So we're unfortunately one short. But that is perfectly fine, because we can easily compensate with other means. Okay, we're going to put the consumable here. There we go. And while we're out, I guess this would be a good enough reason to get more. Uh, let's quickly stow this. Here we go. 
believe they... I'm not too concerned about the garlic issue. No, actually, I should probably be concerned about it, huh? Let's cancel it. Uh, these. I require more resources to make that. There we go. We need to at least make one enchanted brew. We'll leave the uh, garlic as the primary focus here, because we at least need one going for us. There we go. So we'll leave this here. This is going to be our enchanted brew, which is going to help us for dealing with bosses. And of course, we just need one of these garlic brews, so this will just settle us for now. All right. Down this. That's going to go for an hour. I guess we can keep going. There's no reason to not. We will quickly deposit this. And off we go. Alright, our next goal is to get as much, uh... Yeah, we don't necessarily need wool, but we do need cotton, so we're gonna have to go and, uh, delve into some areas here. We just need a little bit. So that is what we're gonna prioritize. So we're gonna prioritize going over to here. And off we go. But yes, no, now that we've got the Iron Reaper, this is going to be very easy for us. Alright. There we go. Yeah, no, with uh, the E, we've now got another area of effect. That's three area of effects, essentially. Just uh, crossed into one. We are going to need a rush here, so let's play it safe. There we go. Ignore you guys as we focus into here. Okay, we're up to 25. And let's see. Yeah, no, that's not enough. Okay, that's fine. Well, I mean, we can use the uh, cotton that we got here and just convert it into something nice, but I digress. Here, we just... Sacrificial site. The people of Dunley sing, dance, and sacrifice to their savior, the ever-burning light. Huh. What is this? That's ominous. Okay, from here, we got some sunflowers that we can quickly grab. I guess sunflowers are going to be necessary for the future, so getting them early wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, we, we won't get anything too crazy here, but it's still something. Okay, we're suffering a little bit from silver. But it's a small price. Well, yeah, let's drop the silver. There's no need to suffer. Not when we're going to be uh, utilizing uh, more materials here eventually, so. There we 
There we go. Man, it's been a while since I've used the Reaper, but it's so good with gathering. <laughs> oh. Silver. Hey. Why are you doing that to my minion? Scholars? No, unfortunately not. Okay, well, either way, we get plenty of materials, so that's good. With that out of the way, let's see. Mosswick Village has oils, wool threads, scrolls, and horses. Uh, we do need more cotton, so we'll just go this side. We may as well. I do want to get my hands on more of the uh, on some of these cherry trees, though, because that will help us. Uh, I'm going to take the 55 Blood Warrior here. Really good addition. There we go. But yeah, no, we're going to be uh, harvesting these trees when we get a chance. I do want to get my hands on these, so I am going to cut these down. And uh, if you uh, cut down certain trees, you can get saplings for them. I very much like these pink tree saplings, personally. So this is the way to go about it. Or the way to get them, really. There is other places where you can get them, but this would be the one of the ways you can get them. Oh, I think I just got... Yep, the Cherry Blossom Sampling. Nice. It's going to take a while to get enough uh, of the Cherry Woods, but uh, it will be a uh, incremental growth. here. Okay, anything else pretty useless here, so let's get going. Alright. Where do we go next? Uh, I don't want to go to the farmer's market, because that is useless to us. I guess the cotton farm here is our next go. Okay, that being our... Good oh, luck hello, getting Vincent. through my shield. I do not want to fight him, ideally. Not this time. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to fight Vincent just yet. He's a, uh... He's gonna be difficult to fight. I know that for a fact. I don't want to fight him, especially when I have stacks of garlic exposure. That is 
just a worst possible situation for us. That said, I can't keep running away from my problem, so I am going to have to deal with him eventually. But, uh... Yeah, I, ideally I don't want to deal with him, but... There we go. At least we're getting some insane amounts of uh, DPS because of our area of effects. Now, mind you, there is a perfect combo for me if I go area of effect oriented, but uh, I need to get rid of Aftershock for it, but it's a uh, small price for an area of effect addition, so it works out. All right. Regardless, we've managed to get our hands on some more materials, so that's good. Where else do we go? Uh, I guess I can go northward, because there is this cotton farm. But we may as well just hit every cotton farm we can. That will uh, help with uh, gear-wise. Or help us gear-wise, rather. Okay, off we go. Nice. Okay, back up a bit, so that way we can go into here. Nice. And from here, we just slip on over across the way, as planned. Grab some more material. Here we go. Now we get the heck out of here before our garlic exposure buff goes to obscenely high levels. Because of uh, the location we've set up at, we've actually got a uh, new area that we can uh, rest at, so that's good. Unexpectedly so, but a nice addition. Alright, let's warp back, get our uh, cotton reserves up to snuff, so that way we can upgrade our armor. That's going to be really nice for us. We should be good. It'll be a bit stinky, but that's just cotton for you, huh? Okay, deposit that. No more fish, so there you go. Okay, we're gonna keep the wooden stone. Uh, let's see. Deposit the gem stuff. Herb stuff goes right in. We'll immediately grab the cotton, because we're going to be using that immediately. Tailoring stuff goes in. Deposit this. We're going to take these. Let's see. Everything is study-worthy, so there you go. Uh, we... There we go! That's exactly what we needed. We needed a Blood Rose Brew. That's exactly what we needed for our occasion. Okay, so now we can start making uh, healing potions, which is exactly what we needed. So we're going to quickly grab our blood roses in supply, because those are going to be necessary for just making any sort of potion here. Alright. Okay, so to make uh, blood rose brews, we need empty water skins and blood rose. Uh, so we're just gonna have to make as many of those. So six leather and twelve of that. Alright, well, either way. Let's just 
split these up to 906. This is going to give us the necessary components we need for the cotton yarn materials. We'll split up the wood and stone. There we go. Deposit the wood. All right. We're always going to want sun reverses. Yeah, we're always going to need sun resistance and enchanted brews because those will help us deal more damage. So that is the necessity there. We'll deposit these because we don't always need minor garlic resistance. We only need it when we need it. We are going to take the water skins. We are going to take some... Yeah, we need plant fiber and leather, I believe it was. Yep. So we're going to take all those. And we will make a bunch. I believe it's an alchemy thing, so we go over here, make this. Alright. I'll make 20 of these, so that way I can get plenty of resources here. The Blood Rose Brews are going to help significantly with uh, recovery. It is a limited in combat, but, uh, and breaks upon taking damage, but as long as we play it safe, we should be fine. But, uh, with that, we've now got healing on our side, so that's going to be really beneficial for anything we want to do there. I'm going to go up the steps here. It's getting to nighttime, so this is literally just working out in our favor. Okay, we're going to use this chance to make a Hunter Cloak that's going to give us some Sun... It's going to give us uh, Garlic Resist and Silver Resist, which is what we need. It also gives us five extra health, which is going to be nice. Uh, we are going to need to get some... Wool cloth. I, well, no, not wool cloth. Uh, we need... Uh, we take the cotton. We're going to need the wool thread. There we go. But that should be enough to get us the hollow fang leggings. Do we need to up to another, another tier? Sacrifice the 8% movement speed? I think it might be in our wisest decision to do that, but we don't have to. Right, we're going to take that, and we need the leggings, so we need one more wool. Here we go. That should be enough. We don't need to go uh, overboard. Besides, the movement speed is really good for us, so that alone is good enough for me. We're going to equip this. We will probably put the Traveler's Wrap away. And we'll trust everything else. So we just need to wait for this, and then we should be good to go. Okay. But once the Hollow Fang leggings are good, we should be able to go literally... Uh, Go on a little bit of a boss surge and deal with uh, a few enemies here and there, and then we should be good. Overall, should be that difficult to do. Five, four, three, two, one, and there we go. We've now got our leggings. We're gonna keep the gloves and boots, if only for the fact that we'll get some more movement speed. But beyond that, we should be fine. go. Deposit the plant fiber for now. Well, actually, no, I guess I can just deposit the blood rose as well. There is no need for that. Get rid of the tailoring supplies. All right. We are going to be targeting Vincent now. It is high time we deal with that man. Okay, we are going to go all the way up to this Vampiric Waygate. This is going to make it way easier to target. Alright, let's get going. So, it's very likely I'm going to have to play it safe and go into range. To keep up. Oh, hey. I do not want to fight you yet. Sorry. Well, not sorry, but... 
Yeah, no, I'm not ready to face the gunner. Not yet. That is just asking me to get my, uh, butt kicks. <laughs> but, uh, in the future, soon, in the future, I will be able, be able to. Okay. Oh, garlic exposure. I do not want that. Let's just back off. Yeah, let's just let the garlic exposure fade. Okay. We're very close here. Okay. Go a long way around here. We're very close. I guess we have to go around the lake here. Okay, very close. If not imminent. Yeah, no, he's in the village. Okay, no, no, he's uh, just barely out of the village. Okay. Militia guard, behind me! Feel a chip coming out. Okay. Ow. Okay. No. <laughs> this cannot be the end. Okay. Yeah. No. As expected, he is going to be a pain. That was uh, to be expected. It also didn't help that I took half my health when uh, I first engaged him. Like that was horrible. <laughs> well, that's to be expected when you are dealing with the when we're dealing with this sort of difficulty. <laughs> uh, there is no room to heal either, so that's just that's just icing on the cake, really. It's all good though. We've managed to do quite well, all things considering. I do believe the tree work is literally going to save our lives, though. Though. So, Doing it the way we did is actually really good. We even got some glass bottles for our troubles, so that's nice. Alright. We'll have to uh, play uh, a little bit by his rules, a little bit by our own. I think this area is literally perfect to go against him. Good luck getting through my shield. Okay. Chill coming up. Hey.
okay. I feel a chill coming on. Nope. Okay. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, seriously? I gotta avoid this? Okay. Thank God. I feel a chip coming out. Nice try. Okay. Down this. Damn. I feel a chill coming up. Oh, damn it. Ah. It's not me. Yeah, no, that freeze just ruined my day. Oh, God. Well, that's to be expected. I'm not too surprised. Okay. 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 Well, when in doubt, keep going, I suppose. The next best thing I can do is probably use the Iron Reaper here. And use the Howling Reaper. Because at the very least, uh, that won't uh, stop from... It won't stop us from dealing with them. In that case. Because the area of effect will uh, ignore his uh, attacks, I do believe. So that alone is good enough. Okay. 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 Don't you dare lay a finger on my feet. Nice try. can back right the hell off. Yeah, no, let's blood mend here. Blood sustains me. Yeah, no, that was horrible of an attempt. That was horrible. Alright, okay, okay. Let's attempt this again. Once again. So it's very clear that he's gonna cause a whole lot of ruckus. Rally. Let's show him why you don't mess with the militia.
Okay. I feel a chill coming on. No. Ah. Oh, there, there's nothing I can do to stop that. Like, what? What is there I can't? What can I do? Huh. Do you have to, like, time it so that way you knock him back before he can actually... Is it, like, a time thing? Blood reserve no. fell low. Well, either way, I'm gonna have to get new blood. Because, uh, I'm too low to actually fight the guy now. Huh. Well, I'm not fighting these guys, that's for certain. Uh, let's see. I need, I need any sort of blood type. That that alone is good enough. Uh, let's see. 7, 11, 7. Okay, so the issue seems to be that uh, he likes to have a... Uh... There's no way to... I guess I'm going to have to find a way to counter him. That's the big thing here. Right? get some creature blood here. This will have to do. It's only 4%, but it's better than nothing. And I can always get a better one as I'm going. Okay, so... Let's assume I need to swap my spellbook. Okay. I think the best way to counter him right now is to literally just use a cold magic here. So I'm going to use cold snap. Well, no, not cold snap. I should use uh, something that is different. I should use this. So I'm going to use blood right here. And that's going to counter his uh, problematic ability. I think that's literally the best way I can go about it. Good luck getting through my shield, fiend. Okay. Okay. Ah. I'm going to use the trees to help here. Okay. Shit coming on. And then I can just back up here. Alright. Ow. I feel a chill coming on. Chill coming on. Damn it. Okay. Ah. I cannot yeah, no, I buggered the move. Oh well. I expected that. God, he's difficult. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm going to the other way gate here. Either way, I've got the uh I've got the pattern down. It's just actually dealing with the guy. I have to beat him, like, right now. Otherwise, I'm gonna... You know, I, I have to beat him now. There's uh, no question about it. Well, either way, I just need to deal with him, so... Whether I don't get my stuff back or not, that doesn't really matter. I just need to deal with him. So make sure I can... 
I don't really need to worry about blood type right now. That's literally not a concern. Okay. Don't you dare lay a finger on my people! Okay. Okay. Ow. Seriously, not enjoying that. Coming out. Chill coming up. Okay. Okay, yeah, no. That that was to be expected. Okay. Regenerate here. Blood sustains God. Me. <laughs> there is no saving grace dealing with this guy. Like, it's just a pain. I guess I could take the blood warrior blood here, now that I understand the uh, gimmick here. We wait for you. Okay. Aim for the blood. There we go. Got it. Okay, so it's going to be marginally harder now that, uh... Now that it is going to be daytime. But... I will swap the typing here. I'm actually going to use uh, Storm Magic here in this particular instance. Because I feel like Storm Magic is going to do us a hundred times better in this instance. Either way, I'm gonna have to fight him on, uh... Oh, hello. Militia guard! Behind me! Okay. Ow. I wasn't exactly expecting you to be... I feel a chill coming out. Okay. Okay. Are you? I cannot go on. Ah, even with the half elf, I buggered it. Ah, <sighs> damn. And it was day. And it got daytime too. All right. I knew this guy was gonna be a pain. In my, I knew he was gonna be a pain. <laughs> uh. At least I know there's a strategy behind it. We have to swap over to blood rights just for the occasion. And now that it's daytime, it's gonna be much harder. But. I think I'm okay with that. I think I've... Yeah, I think I can handle it. It's just... He's tedious. That's ne inevitable. If you want to cause trouble, you're going to have to go through me. Yeah, and naturally he's just gonna be a pain in the butt. Ok. 
Okay. I feel a chill coming on. Are you? Could you stop with this? I feel a chill coming on. Are you? I hate that long range bull. I despise that. I despise that long range ability. He's just. Uh, whatever. Alright, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Well, once I get my stuff back. Because that's literally the only thing that's stopping me from, uh, wrapping up at this point. Uh, I'm not gonna beat him this time. That's to be expected, though. Uh, I've had trouble with this guy for a long, long time. There's, like, nothing that I can really do to avoid him being difficult. He's just built different. I suppose. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, there's no way I can beat him at this current point in time. Maybe in the future I will be able to, uh, take him out, but, uh, as of right now, that is not a realistic option for me. Regardless, we will take out all our stuff and we'll get skedaddling. Make sure to get our horse back as well while we're at it. Okay, we're... Okay, our horse is way back. But that's fine. But yeah, no. Frost... The Frostbringer Vincent is just built different. I don't think I can actually handle him at this point. Not until I get, like, ruthless weapons. And even then, that's gonna be, like, a challenge. I just need the damage. That's really all it comes down to. If I can get the damage, I can take him out. Or if I play my cards right, because... There's always going to be a way to take out an enemy. It's just... Time-consuming. I've found. In all instances of this game, time is literally your best friend when it comes to fighting an enemy. But yeah, no. Uh, I don't think I can beat him right now. That's just an inevitable fact. So, we'll live with that. But, uh, yeah, let's go backtrack over to our base here. We've done well. All things considering, we have done well. We've taken advantage of some enemies. We even managed to get a nice little weapon of the Iron Reaper, which is going to allow for some insane gathering tricks like that, which is going to make our life uh, of gathering much easier. Never mind the fact that we're getting more materials that will help us just grow stronger over to, over to time. But for now, I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. I know I did. And I will see you guys next stream. Take care, everybody, and have a good day.